Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at a tool that I like to kind of think of as my own personal time machine, that being undo mark and undo back. Allows me to roll back into time to a previous state within my model and let me do something else or maybe go in a different direction. So let's take a look at how it works. What I have is a, a model here of a uh, site that I've been working on. I've been doing some grading in the parking lot, starting to lay out some of the utilities, and maybe after working on it for a while, I'm starting to rethink the parking and the islands in the front of the building that perhaps it might work or function a little better to have a little more space, maybe to accommodate a fire engine or other emergency vehicles. So what I could do is if I want to start maybe doing some experimentation, some kind of what-if analysis without destroying the work I've already done, I can type in the command undo, and then I can hit M for mark. That'll drop a marker in time that I can refer back to at, uh, at any point. So what I'm going to do is maybe just experiment with this a little bit. We'll highlight the surface, maybe uh, hide that. I'm going to grab some of my parking stalls here. We'll get all the way over to this side. And remove the existing surface. And then I can start to back some of these up make it a little bit faster. We'll turn on a couple of object snaps and we'll just make some quick edits to represent maybe oops, some uh, some changes. So we'll back this guy up, back him up a couple spaces. As I'm doing this, these stalls were created using a dynamic block, so perhaps we'll do a video or two explaining that in the uh, in the future, but it uh, any any edits will do. So we've backed that up. Maybe let's go in, we'll perform a move operation to handle the islands. So we'll kind of sweep around this. We're going to adjust them from the midpoint. And even if I make a mistake, because I am using the undo mark, it, it doesn't mess up other undo functions, I can still hit U to undo. And we'll run that again. That marker has just been placed in time, that if need be, after performing a little what-if analysis, I could restore back to that point. So let's say from the midpoint of here to the end. From there, I could take some measurements, and if I like what I see, I could keep it. And if not, I could very quickly roll back to the state that I was in before. So before I do that, let me show you this. If I drop a marker in time, I can actually drop multiple markers. So I could drop a marker, perform some operations, drop another marker, perform some other operations, so that I can quickly roll back to those, you know, those dates, if you will, with my time machine. If I'd like to know how many markers I've currently dropped or if I've dropped a marker in the past, there is a command or set variable that we'll type in. It's undo marks. If we, uh, oops, if we put that in, we'll say undo marks. It tells me right now I just have the one marker that I've dropped in time. If I had dropped multiple ones, that number would increment up equal to the number of markers that I've placed. So in this case, I've done my what-if analysis. I'd like to roll back in time to what we had previously. So we will just type in the undo command and the corresponding um, feature of undo that correlates with mark is back. We'll just say back. It automatically rolls right back into time to where we were as if we had never made the change. So once again, undo mark and undo back can be used as our own personal time machine. It gives us the ability at any time we can maybe step away from our project and do a little what if analysis, try out a couple of different things, maybe perform some measurements and then very easily roll back to the state as if we had never made any of those changes. It can be a very helpful tool as you uh, as you work on your models. So hope this has been helpful and we'll talk to you again soon. See ya.